Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the really cool things in AutoHotKey Studio. Um, and the ability to, to find text and do search replace or do multi-line typing in, in a lot of different ways. So um, I'm going to jump up here into the the find. This is the quick find, not the... There's two different finds. Um, the other find does a lot other, more advanced stuff, searching across files and doing things. This one is sticking within this file, um, and I'm going to hit var. So... Notice now it highlighted um, all everything with VARs, right, everywhere. Um, and let's say that I wanted to um, exclude this last one because I only want truly VAR, actually, um, both. So this one is the, it's one word, right? So one VARs is one word. And here, VARs is a part of variables. So if I add this word border, right, automatically it would get rid of those. Um, so that's a nice feature to be able to have because sometimes you don't realize that a word is part of another word and it can really screw you up. Uh, but when I first, um, so I just hit, let's just, I hit return. Now when I hit escape, notice two things. Notice the color of my um, cursor thing here that's blinking is gold, right? Pay close attention to that because if you have words elsewhere in your script, you have a long script and they're off the page, um, you won't realize you're multi-line typing right right now the gold thing is helping tell me and of course you can see these are highlighted but it would mean i'm going to do some multi-line typing so let's say if i arrow over one that actually leaves me right there so notice how i typed that notice also they weren't straight per perpendicular up and down right i think that's really really amazing that i can do that um now let me go back to vars and um let's say i only wanted the middle two right so after i hit escape I can, I can mouse over them. Oh no, sorry. So I got to get back into the find. So vars, enter. Now, see how they're underlined? I can mouse over them and hit control. Actually, I wanted to keep that one. So let's say I didn't want, oh, that one's not selected for some reason. As far as the word border is not on. And it's not case sensitive. I don't know why those aren't actually highlighted. Um, uh, hmm. But you can deselect specific ones. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Maestri if what's going on with this. Um, and let's stick with var, so it'll find a lot more of them. In yeah. So enter. Now I'm in there. Interesting. So maybe if it's unless it's the full word, I don't understand why it's not um, allowing me. Let me let me change this to var, and that one's our, that one var. Actually, let's put this to var and try it one more time here. Var. So those all have underlined. Apparently, unless it's a complete match and it's not part of another word, you can't deselect it. Uh, so that I guess it's for a perfect. Oh, sorry, I I clicked on it. This is one of the things I gotta say for me. It's it's not intuitive is when you want to deselect it, you mouse over it, but you don't click it, you can you hit the control key. And this is how I can pick and choose some of the ones that are um, gonna be affected by it. Um, but anyway, so you can do that. The other thing is, let's say I actually, I had var in all these places, and I just wanted to um, search and replace in this area. For that, you hit control F1. You'll highlight the text, control F1. See how that's purplish now? So now when I do my search for place, it only happens within that section. So that's a great way that if you have a really big script and but you see where you want to replace, there's a bunch of stuff, you can isolate it down to that. And, and it, so it's, it's very helpful. Um, again, so you'd hit escape. Um, and then you can either, like if I hit return right now, it'll delete or backspace, it will delete that. If I go left arrow, it'll go to the left on both. Um, I should have paid attention to that. This is... So it's, it's putting them in both sections, right? So um, the, the other quick way, let me see if I can undo enough of that. This is what I got used to in sight. Um, and, and this is one of the reasons why I actually I switched to, to studio because I could not do it in sight is if these are all lined up, a really easy way is to come in here. Like, oh, let's hold on, let's get the control F1 again to get rid of the purple. Um, let's say I wanted to, to type something in here. I can click here. Oops, I gotta hold down the Alt key and drag down. 
And if they're in a row, that's a simple way to start multi-line typing. So those are some quick, easy ways to do some amazing stuff, depending on how your data is structured and what you're trying to search and replace. Um, it takes a little practice. Uh, I, I, you know, you got to use them or you lose it. But um, yeah, it's super easy. Um, you can you can do some um, in the the fine also. You can do regular expression search replaces, which sometimes are really helpful. Um, oh, I didn't notice here. He has a, a current area, so so maybe I can. Let me see if I can do this. I can highlight this and hit current area. Oh, that didn't do it. Let me see if I, if I, if I highlight it, if that was, if it's not doing what I think, or I just can't grab them within. So it's control F1. No. So I don't know what that current area, I'll have to ask him what that one does. Um, I'm not sure. Current area. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So control F1 again, and that gets rid of it. And uh, that's it. All right. Thanks. Enjoy and practice that a bit, but you'll love it once you get used to it. Cheers.